Hello good people of YouTube, Mount Ban here bringing you my final impressions video for the tier 5 British Heavy Cruiser, Exeter. Alright, so the Exeter in my first and second impressions video. Oh, before I get too far into this, let me just say this right now. So guys, we are rapidly approaching 2,000 subscribers, so just shoot down to the comments real, real quick and let me know what you guys want to see for our 2,000 subscriber milestone. That was our next agreed upon milestone. So what special thing would you guys like to see me do for us hitting 2,000 subscribers? Let me know down in the comments down below and uh, I'll see about doing it. Alright, so the Exeter. So in my first and second impressions video, I said that she felt good I was just having trouble surviving for very long in her and well after playing her for some time grand you know the Alaska did come out too so I haven't been playing this ship as much as I try to play ships that I'm you know doing the first second and third impression series on but I have been playing her as of lately because you know the Exeter Marathon is in full swing swing right now and you will be able to earn her well you should be receiving her uh, fairly soon I'm not exactly sure when the end date for the event is, but it should be sometime around the end of this month. With this is coming out on the 29th, it's very soon. Uh, so the Exeter, since I've gotten to know her a little bit better, um, she's actually, in my opinion, one of the better tier five cruisers that I've played. Now, keep in mind, uh, I am a battleship main. I don't play too too many cruisers. Um, I have grinded up to the French and German. Um, tier 10 cruisers legitimately so I have played those tier 5 cruisers and I did play the Phoenix which was a well a lot of dying over and over and over again and well compared to those she does feel a bit more squishy and maybe not to the to the Phoenix and the um, oh god what's the um, mm -mm -mm, the tier 5 American cruiser the was it the Omaha that thing, uh, yeah, that thing, you just look at something the wrong way and you blow up. <laughs> so, the Exeter, she is a tier 5 with 230mm guns and torpedoes, which you can do the single, well, it's either the single drop or the, um, wide drop. There's no just, you know, normal drop. It's all just the British single torpedo drop or the massive, uh, torpedo drop, which that seems kind of goofy that they don't add the um, tight group in and it's just single and large I don't know why they would do that but um, yeah it's a it's a bit weird um, huh it's I mean I don't know if it was a balancing thing or if I don't know that's the thing I do maybe the torpedoes are too good to have the the um, tight group and could only do single and wide drop oh well Honestly, I don't use them that much, and I probably should try to use them more. I only use them if I manage to pull some type of ambush or, you know, try to get a sneaky little salvo off, off on a battleship that doesn't know I'm there. Um, but they've worked. <laughs> uh, I've gotten better at, you know, aiming with torpedoes and guesstimating when they're going to hit and all. But overall, um, her... She, like she still feels good it's just I've managed to prolong uh, my life in her um, and as far as doing damage I'm doing about 40 50 K um, a game now I mean that is of course a better game um, if I'm completely honest with you guys I'm doing around 35 to 38 thousand which in tier 5 isn't that bad considering she only has six guns and she, those guns do take 15 seconds to reload and it is kind of a bit of a pain you know you're shooting at a broadside cruiser he disappears but oh look a destroyer and of course now he's like well do i just shoot 8p or you know wait to load he because you do have a 15 second reload um so expert loader is definitely a skill i would recommend for her certainly help you out in a lot of situations but i've had some really really good games in her and my experience in her now is that either especially in the two games that i, that I recorded for the b-roll for the background of 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 this video I'm either finding to where, you know, I get into situations where I can tank and deal with the damage just fine because she does have that uh, repair party, which is, you know, it's a tier 5 with a repair party, a tier 5 cruiser with a, re with a repair party, that's great. Or I get into situations where it's like, oh, hi, ba and then I'm dead before I even say, say battleship um, because good, this thing cannot tank at all, which I get it's a cruiser and it really shouldn't be tanking, but do not slip up because bye-bye you know you just explode 
Um, which, you know, having repairs, I guess that is a trade-off, you know. Um, so be careful about where you go and how much broadside you're showing. I mean, even through the nose, it doesn't really matter because the ship does only have 13 millimeters of armor um, in most places. And so mm, not, not, not a whole lot of tanking you can do there. But if you roll with your team, you know, especially if you can get a destroyer or just hang out with a destroyer that has smoke, he will be your best friend. This thing is really, really good once she's all smoked up. Because then you don't have to worry about being blapped. And you can fire with impunity until some sneaky torpedoes come out and hit you. Which, I've had that happen to me. I wasn't recording, but it was players was actually doing fairly good. Had like 42,000 damage done. I was firing on um, a New York. And then some tor torpedoes came said hi to my broadside. Ah, good times, good times, good times, good times. Uh, and of course, she does also get Hydra, which, funny enough, in one of the two clips you're watching, I need to see if there's any torpedoes coming in, and I launch, I launch my fighter plane instead of Hydra, because I forgot the thing has Hydra. I'm very forgetful. <laughs> uh, but she is a really, 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 really just, she feels so good. You know, I, I have games where I'm doing very good, and then the squishiness just you know, hits me so hard, um, it's, it's, main thing is, this, this thing is really squishy, so, I would not go out in the open with, with this thing, unless, of course, you're with a group of other ships, hang around the islands, let the herd thin out a little bit, then venture out into the open ocean, now, granted, if it's just another cruiser you're fighting, you don't gotta worry about, about that t too much, because she can bounce cruiser AP just fine, um, most of the time, but if there's any battleships around, just make sure you keep something solid between you and them, or you're with at least two or three other ships, that way they have other things besides you to shoot at. Um, she has very, she, but even if they do shoot at you, you do, this ship can dance pretty good. Her rudder shift time is nice, her acceleration is really, really good, so you can play with your, um, rudder and with your throttle, and that allows you to avoid a lot of that deletion moments, but just you have to have a really good situational awareness with the ship, and that is something that I sometimes, you know, I'm fine. Sometimes I just get distracted by what I'm do, you know, the ship that I'm trying to sink at the moment, and then I get blapped from the side. It's something I need to work on. Um, so just make sure you keep tabs on your mini map, and you know, of course, take a uh, priority target. It will save you quite a lot in this ship. Not so much from torpedoes, like a lot of people tell me that. That's why I need to use them in, uh, in, a, in a, on my battleship captains because they can let you know when a destroyer is maybe targeting you for torpedoes. But just for you know not getting deleted in one salvo, which it's very very easy to do with this ship. It's also very easy to do quite well against other cruisers cruisers in the ship because of course you have those two or three millimeter guns. You can sit all the crap out of tier five and tier four cruisers if you. If you catch their broadside. And that's pretty much it for her. In in my opinion, for a ship that you can get for free by doing the marathon, this is a great ship for that. You know, it's not overpowered. It's got some drawbacks that keep it in check because I can imagine if they did make her armor better, um, my god, this thing would be terrifying at tier five. <laughs> It'd probably have to be at tier six at that point if they gave if, if, if they gave it a bit better armor. One thing I do think that the Exeter does need is a smokescreen, and not like a normal British cruiser smokescreen, but maybe like a British destroyer smokescreen that only lasts 15 seconds, because the ship is so unforgiving when you slip up and you know expose your broadside to a couple of ships. This is uh. You know, I would very much appreciate if they would add just that short destroyer smoke screen to the Exeter. That way, you just buy you some time, you can bust a UE and get out of there. Because to people like me who don't play a lot of cruisers, and I understand that this is also, you know, I don't play a lot of cruisers, that's why I'm not doing amazing in the Exeter. But it's, it's very, very annoying when I make a mistake and then I'm completely dead because of it. Um... And I understand I do need to get better in cruisers, but it's still it's still, it's still frustrating when it happens. And I just thought that short little smoke screen would have made this ship just amazing. It's it still is good in my opinion. I, this this ship is good. I will say that it is a good premium. 
especially again one that you can get for free so you know if you're grinding out that mission for it great keep keep going you're gonna get a nice little ship at the end of it uh, is it worth buying outright for the $35 that it's on sale in the store for? Uh, I, I'd wait until eventually they're going to release this thing by itself. And then I would buy it then when it's a bit cheaper. So guys, that is my final impressions on the Tier 5 British Premium, premium Heavy Cruiser Exeter. Hope you all enjoyed. And if you did, drop a like, leave a comment, and subscribe. We are on our way to 2,000 subscribers. And uh, as of me recording this video, we are under 200 away from that goal. I cannot thank you guys enough for that. And again, it's looking like we're going to be hitting 2,000 first week of, um, oh god, what's next, <laughs> what is next month? <laughs> uh, f yeah, April, first week of April, god, I just, how did I forget next month was April? I've been having one heck of a week, guys. <laughs> so guys, thanks for watching, I'll catch all of you guys in the next one.